Beginning its 10th year, Citizens Bank Park has already produced its share of memories. World champions of baseball! Osama Bin Laden has been killed. And it's a no-hitter! Unbelievable! But Major League Baseball in Philadelphia has been around for nearly 140 years. In fact, drive around the city and you may pass a place once called home. If you want to trace the birthplace of the Philadelphia Phillies and baseball here in the state, you'd find yourself on the city's north side, right off Ridge Avenue between 24th and 25th Street, home of Recreation Park, the site of the first professional game here in Pennsylvania. By 1860, Recreation Park was a very prominent, the baseball stadium in Philadelphia. Then the Civil War came along, the Union Army used it, took over Recreation Park and used it as an encampment. And the soldiers would, when they had some time off, play baseball at Recreation Park. And while Clearwater has become an annual rite of passage, Recreation Park was also the site of the team's first spring training facility back in 1883. One memorable or forgettable game that year was a 28-0 loss to the Providence Grays, which still stands today as the highest scoring shutout in baseball history. In four major league seasons, there were just 21 home runs hit at Recreation Park. After those four years, the park was considered obsolete and the Phillies moved on. Just down the road off Jefferson Street, you will find a small youth league baseball field. It was once Jefferson Street grounds, and would you believe it was the venue for the first National League game played back on April 22nd of 1876, a game between the Philadelphia Athletics and the Boston Red Caps. In terms of baseball stadiums in Philadelphia, it was, you know, one of the original icons. The winning pitcher in that first NL game was Yaden PA's very own Joe Borden, who had a much more significant achievement later in life when he threw the first no-hitter in Major League history. Today, Borden is buried in nearby Westchester. Here at the corner of Oxford and 30th Street stood Columbia Park, the birthplace of American League Baseball and the Philadelphia A's. This is where it all started for Connie Mack, the legendary manager who actually lived right along the street across from the ballpark. And he would walk to the stadium every day, as did some of the players. The kids, they used to follow Connie Mack and the players down the street, you know, when they would leave their house, all the kids would follow them to the ballpark. You could inhale the aroma of beer inside a stadium that was surrounded by local breweries. However, you could only smell and not taste, because in that day, beer sales were prohibited. Philadelphia witnessed its first World Series here back in 1905, which was also the first seven-game series in professional sports. And despite losing in five to the New York Giants, the city was so enamored with the A's, they threw a massive parade that saw over 300,000 fans line Broad Street to celebrate a team that lost. I'm John Boric, Comcast Sportsnet.